Okay, hi. It's Friday, um, day before my Thanksgiving dinner up at Hunter Mile with my sister and my mom and my other sister and my niece and nephew. Anyways, it turned out it was just going to be a small family thing and now there's <laughs> extended families all coming. So anyway, we're having this Thanksgiving up there. So I'm pre-recording this and oh, I wanted to show you. This is the sketchbook I got from the dollar store. Nothing fancy. It's a little backwards. This is sketch pad tablets. Then it goes into French. Standard smooth paper. No big deal. It's got all these pages on it. Anyway, so that's what I'm using here. And I'm using my dirty water from before. So my page is not white. It should be white. I got it wet and it's, um, well, it's damp now with old, uh, not white, <laughs> not clean water. So I'm going to start off with um, throwing some white down here in the center of my canvas. So you're going to be using white, blue, and black for this one. That's it. So throw in some white here in the center. Taking some blue, just take a little bit of blue over. We're going to mix some white in with that so that we have like a lighter blue. And then we're just going to go around the edge of that messy just like we did with the last one it's going to be messy uh, go into some straighter blue to the outside of it put some water in there so i can stretch it a little bit so surround that darker blue work real fast your canvas leave your canvas um wet and put, use lots of paint don't like a, i mean don't waste your paint but use enough paint that you can smooth this around a little bit um Okay, I'm gonna wash that off. I'm gonna go back and uh, get all that off as much as you can. I'm gonna go back to my white. Grab a big blob of white and I'm gonna go back in the center. Like I have a big blob. So now it's really super wet. Just like we did before, guys. I'm gonna put this brush down. I'm gonna get messy with my hands. So I'm gonna mess it up into there back and forth. If you want to use a sponge to do this, you can. Don't get rid of your white completely, but just go right up. Take some of that, just mess it right up into the edges of your canvas. Oopsie. Pushing that paint around with my hands, hoping it gets all the way to the bottom, but it's not going to. Then I'm going to wipe that off so that my hands are kind of dry. Go back into that white bring that white out. It doesn't need to be straight white, but I want it to be light. So every time you have to go back in the center, wipe your hands off. So you keep some of that lightness there. Look at how messy I'm making this. So cool. Ooh, love it. Okay. Wipe that white off. I'm going to take a little bit of black now. Weird. Black. Did you see this looks a little bit nighttime-ish? Throw a little bit just around in the corners. It's coming in there pretty good. Back to your fingers. Grab it right to the edges. And then start slowly bringing a little bit of it into your painting. Start here in this corner. Maybe you can see this a little bit. Or my hand got in the way there. So I'm going right to the edges. I'm slowly just wiggle it up into the painting so that it makes it look a little bit nighttimey. Night tiny. Oops. Paper's not quite the same to work on as canvas, but it will have the same effect somewhat. So there it looks kind of night tiny. I think I want to paint this one sideways. Ha! Huh. So how fun is that? So didn't really get all the black in the edges. You can mess this around with a brush too, it doesn't really matter. I particularly like to use my hands. Because you know me, I'm messy. I am messy. All right. So, um, another thing I want to explain to you guys while you're doing that. Let's draw. I'm going to put a little cricket moon there. Um, I want to do lives on here so I can interact with you guys. I can take my time. I'm thinking I'm only going to do one night a week, uh, just Wednesdays, and I'll do for like four Wednesdays a month plus um, a little bonus, a little bonus one. Um, yeah, 
So a little bonus one is showing you a new product. Like last month, I introduced this. Next month, I'm going to be introducing a fun little thing to do with rubbing alcohol. So you're going to like that. But anyways, I'm thinking about doing that. So some of you guys are my super supporters and you pay $45 a month. Other tiers are only $15 a month and they just get um, like four paintings a month. I'm going to put everybody there. So if you're paying $45 a month, I'm going to knock yours down to $15 a month. You're still going to get um, the live painting, but it's going to be so much more personal. I Right now I'm talking to myself. I'd rather be talking where somebody has the potential to answer me back. So it's been taking me a while to figure out how to get the life on Patreon. Um, and I'm super happy that I finally got it. So anywho, that's my plan. If this live worked the other night, if it didn't, then forget this conversation. All right. So we're going to start in the center here and I am going to do like a circle. This is going to be my bat face. So it's mixing with the white right now. So, you know, it doesn't have to be super big. And then I'm gonna do a little smaller one over here. And I think I'm just gonna stick, I'm sticking with two. Hmm, does that look like a circle? That looks like a circle. That doesn't look like a circle to you guys, but to me it did, so. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to do two. Let's give him some funky legs. So they're going to come out like this. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. To so draw two like thin lines like this. Wait till you see this guy. He's going to get funny. It's going to be a hilarious one. Then he's going to give him some like little chicken feet. So three little marks off his feet. Three little marks. I don't even know what bat feet look like. I'm assuming that they're webbed like a chicken, but, or like a duck but I don't know, maybe. So this one as well. I'm gonna have him flying in a different direction so his legs are gonna be somewhere else. And you're gonna give him little chicken feet. Chick chicken feet. Too far away, my, I can't see that. My eyes are far away. So with the bat wings, he's gonna come up. It's gonna be kind of like a, uh, a round V shape. All right, so we. this is just the first part. So if it's going up here it's going to come down and it's going to round a little bit see where it went sort of not at the top of his body almost to the center of his body and the other side going to do the same thing make it wide so don't start up here come way out to the side about 11 o'clock and come around and whoop, there do the same smaller over here now i've got my feet going this way so i want his wings to come out that way so wide and then wide. So it, it kind of looks like an X almost, right? First start. And then it, from here, you're gonna have three claws that are coming off it. I say claws, but one, two, three. Get a little longer each time. I'm gonna go over this a little bit later. Make it darker. Three. Okay. And same with this one. Start at the tip of it, kind of curve it in a little bit, go a little higher, curve it a little bit longer. Third one, curve a little bit longer. Now we're going to make it reach his arm so it looks like a muscle. So it's going to come here and it's going to it's going to like be like a little bit of a V shape. See how that one went straight in? We're just going to curve that in and give him a little bit of an armpit. Now this should be really black, but because I've got white on here already. Um, there you go. Because I got white, mine looks kind of gray. That's just because I'm in a hurry. Same with his legs. You want to give him a little bit of muscle right there where his legs are. So I'm just going to curve it a little bit right there and there. Oops, somebody's so I really dig those okay now we got to do the same on the other guy so curves in a little bit a little bit more and a little bit more okay he's farther away so they're not going to be quite as long and where's this one here 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 there you go there's your bat 
and then give him a little bit of a muscle where it attaches to his body and his legs where they attach. Got it? Okay, I make that a little blacker because I like it. Be a little bit blacker. <laughs> Okay, here's where he's going to start getting funny. Here's where he's going to start getting funny. First of all, I want him to be even. All right, so we have to make him look a little bit furry. So I'm going to take the black, but really make this pointy. And just sort of go around and just cut little... Cut little hairs on him. But don't keep going straight. Go around it as it's going around. Um, what don't I want you to do? Okay, what I don't want you to do is this. I don't want you to have this and then make all your lines like this. See it all straight like that? Follow it around. So you're going to follow it around. You're going to start here and you're going to start slicing it out so it goes along like numbers on a clock. Okay, so it looks a little furry rather than, uh, I don't know what that is. You don't want this straight going like this. Follow it around like a like a oh, um what was I gonna say? What would you call that? Like like a like um like a clock. So just make it all fuzzy. And keep that round ball shape, but it can be messy, okay? So see how fuzzy and round he is? <laughs> when I put the eyes on him, he's going to be hilarious. This one's a lot smaller, so. Same thing, but just tiny. Okay. And I'm just going to make this a little bit blacker. I just want to see it. Now while that's drying, and it has to dry because oh, eyeballs, um, we're going to put eyeballs on it. So clean off that little round brush. You don't need that anymore. Get it all the black off. We're going to go into some white. We're going to put a half a moon, but it's going to be um, choppy. So instead of it being round, you're going to go chop, 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 chop. So see how it's choppy? and extend on those because that just looks kind of creepy right so out 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 I like creepy choppy really sharp edges and then fill it in I did the wrong angle but it still works it kind of almost looks like a wrench <laughs> a wrench Alrighty, and then you know, give us yourself some stars. So it's night sky, so maybe you got a star. It looks like a Jesus cross with an X through it. So first you draw the Jesus cross, one long, one across, and then right in the center put a little X. Then you have a star. Or you can just paint your regular stars. I'm gonna put one down here. Don't know if you'll see it because it's pretty light. But longer at the bottom. You can put these wherever you want. Small one here. He's just flying around in the night sky. Fun, right? If you want, you can just start putting a little tap with the front or the back of this brush. Doesn't matter. You have more accuracy with the back of it saying if you push too hard then you get big ones but I like it creepy 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 so I'm almost dry on the inside so what I'm gonna do is two ovals or circles right just sort of like above his armpit sort of on the body right together See them right together there? He doesn't have anything else for a face. It's just going to be these eyes. So you want those to be 
big because he, he's going to look like scared. Big oval. I'm going to try to get them white, but because mine's not dry, huh, it's going to be kind of hard. Great big eyes. <laughs> Is my head in the way when I do this? It's because I can't see that far away. So now you can see my two owls. He's not very black here because my paper keeps absorbing it. So Anyway, I'm going to go back to the black. Straight black. And I'm going to roll my brush. So just so I have some right on the tip of it. Because I'm going to put a dot dead center in his eye. Once you have it real um, white, I'm going to put a black dot kind of center in his eye. This is going to make him look shocked. <laughs> Seriously, doesn't that just make you laugh? Okay, maybe it's just me, but I think he's so cute and hilarious. Got a little dot over there, a little dot over there. And there they are. <laughs> oh, you guys. That one, this one cracks me up. <laughs> Look at him. He looks shocked. Anyways, I love it. I totally love it. Okay, guys. <laughs> uh, happy Thanksgiving. I will see you all next week. Possibly just live next week. So you guys have a happy Thanksgiving and we'll talk soon. Happy painting.